We love the Polygon truck, the Cybertruck, and when there is a Cybertruck parked anywhere, it naturally gets a flock of people going there, taking pictures, recording themselves with the Cybertruck. It's just such a unique vehicle that you can't find anywhere else. I'm sure if Tesla came out with a very normal truck like the Rivian, nobody would care. But because the Cybertruck is so weird, it's so pointy, it looks like it hasn't even rendered in, it's gaining a lot of attention, especially if you drive the Cybertruck People take more pictures of it than if you drive like a McLaren. That's just how it is, and everyone wants it right now. And if you look at what Tesla employees are saying, two Tesla employees have confirmed they're probably getting 10,000 Cybertruck orders per day since the delivery event. And before the delivery event, not a lot of people wanted it. A lot of people were skeptical. People were also saying what were the quality issues. But now with the delivery event over and already got YouTubers making reviews of the Cybertruck, People are now pretty hyped up for it. In fact, a lot of people who are kind of on the edge eventually threw in the towel and said, sure, I'm going to get the Cybertruck. And this is how they're getting 10,000 Cybertruck orders per day. Now, if you're one of the guys who recently put in the order for the Cybertruck after the delivery event, well, uh, you're probably going to be waiting years for this vehicle. In fact, we're talking about three, four, five year wait times for a vehicle like this. Remember, no other car company will ever produce a truck that looks like this. And by the way, Tesla is already gaining massive issues with the Cybertruck. You know, the shapes are really iffy, right? There's also some quality issues in certain areas, and they actually have to make sure everything lines up perfectly or else the pointy corners, just, you know, pop out like a sore thumb. Like the quality issues of a Cybertruck, they're going to have to address. Not to mention, they're also facing a little bit of battery issues here and there. So they're trying to iron these out to make it smooth but so far we're seeing production of the cybertruck being very slow don't expect any sort of ramp up production for 2024 in fact 2024 will probably be the year where they're going to be increasing more factories around the world they have a lot of things on their plate giga india giga mexico and expanding giga texas for the cybertruck and with already more than 1.9 million cybertruck orders things are getting pretty heated. In fact, by the time you watch this video, orders are probably nearing like 3 million if you look at the speed of the reservations. So if you look at this, Tesla plans to make 375,000 Cybertrucks a year at peak capacity. New orders will technically take around five years to arrive. And by the way, yes, they're trying to increase production of Cybertruck, but they still want to increase the production of the Model 3s and the Model Ys as well because those are still their highest selling vehicles. The Cybertruck is right now is more of an experiment than anything else. And right now there's a hefty deposit for the Cybertruck, $250. And the Cybertruck right now is being produced at the Giga Texas. Now there's a possibility and a very high possibility that it will be built in Giga Mexico. And Giga Mexico will be running up in the next few years, so don't expect the Giga Mexico to be producing any sort of Cybertruck material. And by the way, if you like crash your Cybertruck, good luck, because chances are there are very, very few parts if you crash your Cybertruck. The wait times are probably going to be in the months, maybe up to a year, and the prices will be insane. If you buy a Cybertruck and you crash it or someone crashes into you, your insurance company will probably have a heart attack. But so far, the Cybertruck is a very popular vehicle. And Tesla right now, they're not really worried about if people order the Cybertruck. It's more like, can they fulfill all these orders at the fastest rate possible? Elon Musk also removed the purchase clause that threatened to sue people who scalp Cybertrucks. So it used to be Tesla will sue you up to 50 grand if you try to scalp your vehicle. But then everyone was super mad about that, so they removed it. So I guess you could scalp your Tesla. You know, the Cybertrucks are going to be scalped. You know, there's going to be a lot of people who get the Cybertruck, the Founder Series, and you know they're going to be selling that for like double the price they paid for. Not to mention, if you go on eBay, there's already a ton of listings of Cybertruck reservations. Like if you want to reserve a Cybertruck and be slightly ahead of the pack, you're going to have to shell out thousands of dollars for a lot of these tickets. And the Cybertruck is a heavily loved vehicle right now, right? People who like it, they really want it like it's crack. And people who don't like it, they really, really hate it. And there's really not any sort of in-between. Thanks for watching, guys. Comment below. Get ready for the Cybertruck. Very excited for this vehicle. And maybe it will pop up in my city very soon.